Hello viewers and subscribers, this is the Geo Scholar with another geographic video. The state of Kansas is often touted as being flat as a pancake, and many people will look at the topography while driving in Kansas and think, this place is very flat as a pancake. And while the flat topography is certainly part of Kansas' geography, there's more to understand about Kansas. Much of Kansas, especially the central and western parts of Kansas, those areas are part of the Great Plains. And the Great Plains are characterized by a lot of undulating or flat expanses of land. You have a lot of prairies. That is certainly part of Kansas' geography. However, you go towards the eastern part of the state, you have more rolling hills, you have more forests. There is a region in eastern Kansas known as the Flint Hills. Explorer Zebulon Pike once mentioned crossing these very rough Flint Hills in his journal, as he would quote it. These are hills that consist mainly of limestone and shale. Located in the Smoky Hills of north-central Kansas near the city of Salina is Canopolis State Park. Canopolis State Park is home to many sandstone canyons. Many people do not imagine canyons when thinking of Kansas, but they are there, particularly in Canopolis State Park. The Osage Cuesta, located in southeast Kansas, it's a region of many escarpments. A cuesta is a hill or a ridge with one gentle slope on one side, and on the other slope, it's very steep. And on the steep side, this is where you have the escarpments. The state of Kansas also has its own version of Badlands. There are areas of western Kansas, especially near Castle Rock, that are rough terrain, rugged terrain, bluffs, Badlands. Like many Great Plains states, the state of Kansas has its own version of the Badlands. And this should serve to show that even though Kansas does have a very flat topography in a lot of places, it's not uniformly flat. There are many rugged areas of Kansas. There are some areas of Kansas with hills. The state of Kansas does have some rugged terrain. To put the relative flatness of Kansas into perspective, the elevations of Kansas from highest to lowest range from 4,039 feet in western Kansas, that is the maximum elevation for Kansas, to 684 feet above sea level, the lowest elevation of Kansas. The elevation changes gradually from east to west. And in between, you have some hilly areas. You have areas with rock formations. You have bluffs. You have badlands. You have the Flint Hills. You have some hilly areas in between. There is definitely a lot of flatness in Kansas, but it's not uniform. To understand this, it's important to understand the geography of Kansas itself. And it's important to understand that geography is in the details. For the state of Kansas, it's very much in the details. You have very flat areas in Kansas. You have a gently changing topography, a gently changing elevation change from west to east. You have undulating hills, you have some rugged areas. You just have to understand the geography of this state. If you like this video, check out other videos on this channel, and as always, be sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe.